Hey guys, welcome back to me, Puzzle Row 2. Okay, so, sorry for not being on. I've been sick for a pretty long time, cold and stuff. You guys can probably still hear me, how I sound sick. Uh, I kinda am, even though it's almost Thanksgiving. But today, I'm gonna bring you a, a how-to on an LDD mock. And I'm just gonna first explain this mock. It's a female mock, but is actually a gender bent version of my self mock Veron, which, if I might, might do a how to on his LDG today as well. Just might. So, uh, first off, uh, Veron is a very different build, like more than what I usually don't don't do because the very first time I've actually found how to build a more feminine torso so let's just start so we're gonna start off with these I guess it's gonna start off with the legs right now so like I say in most of my LEDs LED mock how to's um, <clears throat> you can use any colored part you want because I really don't judge about color scheme or anything plus I don't even know if this kind of piece exists in this color and so next yeah that also don't know if that's in another color but I think it is uh, those pieces are found in many Technic builds same as this little stud with the axle and then you put that axle in there as well the black ones are pretty easy to find within, like, for example, the Hordika sets, I think, in, um, the Rahaga, which are pretty easy to find, but they are freaking expensive. And so we're going to build another one of those. Same process. And you got that. That is actually the start of one of the legs. Now you add these. Now, I don't officially know where these parts come from with the thin rail, the thin peg, peg axle rail, whatever you call them. I don't know what parts they come from. <coughs> Sorry, still feeling sick. But, um, that's what you're going to need because it'll, this thigh is actually what we're making. And so that's a part that is, um basically the one thing so you get that in now these uh this white long axle and don't go into the comments and start saying oh boy why does it have to be white you freaking racist i like white because it's more original it's what used to be on the actual colors but back to this so yeah you got that Oh, wait, sorry, I went backwards. Then you add another one of the axles in the top of here. You add two more of these. Don't know if those are the same color though. <coughs> now you add more axles of the black, like you would do at the top. Doing the same thing. And now we build this. So this is the secondary part. You use instead these orange ones, if these exist, and with the black axles. And voila, you got whatever this part is. Oh yeah, and that slides in right there. See, that does not connect at the same point, but that's going to change as... Oh, okay, never mind. We will already start with this leg you see here because as you see with this part the top of the leg as you saw with that strange hand design will probably go on down to one of these parts parts where the top part of the axle the axle on the hand will go there there as you see in the middle and on the other part where the studs are is where you will get on the outside so let us now build this leg you will start with this spike I guess 
And as you see, now I actually don't know if there are axles that are in this color, but these bion teeth, there might actually be, um, there might actually be those in silver color. Then you get one of these old things, don't know where they come from. Add another, and you got that as well. I actually love these parts as they're the most usable in my opinion. Now you add a modify. These are modified colors. Don't know if they actually exist. Now you add an orange version of the long stuff, long axle. You also add this just to add some design. Add one of the dark silver or just titanium axles in there, and you got the makings of this. And then last, you add these. And you've got a heel, a heeled shoe, which I really like. I really like this design, but I can't remember if this is a this is an original or this is from another friend as inspiration. Next, we put on this armor. Yes, it looks weird. Then you put in those. Uh, just remember, these are the parts that you're looking for to add that because. These uh, armor pieces seem to stick pretty well within the these pegs. So yeah, so you stick more, and you get one of these old pieces. I think you can find them in like Anika sets. No, wait, not Anika, Mystica or Mystica, however you say it. <clears throat> and now you add two of the half ones ones you see these halfies right here I like to call them half pegs and then you add that other plate and then last but not least you add this hand piece here now watch it is connected here and so that is a leg yeah we have made a leg guys uh, next, I guess, it's going to make us start off with the claw. Okay, so this part is, since it is a gender bent, it should stick a lot more closer to the old design or new. And so, I tried to make, when I was in this old originality, like originally she did not look feminine much, except for her torso. But I changed that to a more feminine Veron, which is now Viano for this. And so, basically, this claw... Uh, note, this claw design was originally an idea made by Cal and LOF, but I have added the modding, so original idea is credited to Callan, while the mods are from me. So, let's continue. So you add these little claw pieces, can't remember where they come from. I do not know where these weird finger parts come from. Uh, I really want to think they're a Hero Factory piece, because of how weird they look. So you just do that with the same three ones. And now you add this piece, which is a common piece in a lot of Legos. So you do that. Now you add that stud brick as well, that's long. <sighs> weird joke's not intended. But you add that, and you basically now got part of the finger. Next, you that axle, because then you're going to add this block that has an axle in it. Well, axle hole. And then next, I really want to believe these kind of hand pieces exist somewhere. Maybe within um, Storm Beast, no, wait, not Storm Beast, Lava Beast, and maybe the Skull Grinder, I think. Uh, I really can't remember if there are pieces like that, even though I have them. Got to recheck, but I know I found the piece somewhere. So in that, <clears throat> as you see, this is the same design, but then you add one of these blowhorn thingies, or whatever this are, whatever this is. And now you got the hand. Next, you add in this arm piece. This can be found within the Witch Doctor of Hero Factory, and this piece is pretty easy to find. Uh, especially, I think 
this set also has it in this color. If not, you can go to the one Hero Factory bad guy that had that weird leg design. I think it was like a double jointed system, I think. I really can't remember how that how those legs worked. But it did work as in having the same color scheme. So it should be like this. Can't remember his name though. Uh next is you add this armor. Don't know where that comes from. And you've got that. Now we work on the next foot. It's basically the same procedure as the uh it's basically the same procedure as the left one. And this time though we're gonna actually focus more on that shin armor. And bam, 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 you got that. I actually like this piece because it's actually not as bulky for what I thought it was going to be. <sighs> it actually fits pretty perfectly with our legs as well. Oddly accentuating a more female design. And we are already starting off with the head. Great. So you're going to want to build this weird thing. Pretty easy from what you just saw right there. Yeah, that's part of the head. You'll see why. Alright, this is just the leg. Ooh, now we're starting on the torso. Get one of these teeth. Same thing with the other teeth. Now we're going to make one of the breast breastplates, or just breasts. Meh. Whoa. This actual shell piece is... I think this was used in a very old... Like, the olden sets as well. But it was also used in Hero Factory in a black and blue color scheme for Von Nebula. Might have been using other stuff. But you get that. Well, actually, now that I think about that, that's a... Uh, that was used in the Fantoka series. And you can actually probably find the same color scheme with this one. Next you do that. Put that plate there. Now we're working on our belt. See that? I don't know why LED likes to do this where it separates all the building type with this. Same breastplate design or breast, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, now we're working on upper arm. Get that arm plate. Bam. Now we're working on the back of it. Bam. Ooh, now we work someone on the hair sorry that this is very weird looking to you guys to those out there trying to build this thing uh, I might give a separate how-to on how to build the torso itself but it is a very different build so sorry about that <coughs> we got the hair now now we place that hand just floating out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Now we add more armor. Now we add another axle here, I guess. Now we got more armor there. And now I guess we're going to build the rest of it. Because screw going in order. We're just going to build this free willed. So I guess we're going to start off with the leg joint here. This is basically the normal part of the leg. There we go. Ooh, now we build the other part. We are at the pelvis now. So, this is the belt part. I actually love this belt piece that I made because it's actually pretty original in my opinion. Now, this is how it works for the spine. You actually add this ladder piece, this thick, this thick peg ladder piece or technic ladder, I can't remember what you call it. And you add these blue ones, these blue pegs that are long. 
and then you add one of the uh, smaller two peg ones and then you add this one that is one two three four five. that is eleven pegs don't judge sometimes I still have to count and then next you add another you add another and now you add this fan token torso which is pretty easy to find it's actually in the um They're pretty easy to find in the Fantoka and stuff like that, and they're actually pretty cool for their uh, design. Next, you add another one into there. Then you add one there. Yeah, that that's just like pegging it off. Now you've got that finished part there. See, as you see, a two hold version of the arm. Now we're going to work on the actual torso. Now you see here we got this. I bet you already know what's gonna be there. I bet that's just some of the armor. Some of the uh, armor again. Now we work on the actual breast unit which is supposed to connect that breast armor and this is what you get. So yes I used these heads because actually they're more versatile when it comes to design don't know if they have the colors of this but you can also use the ones from the hero factories and stuff to work this out and so as you see we add that we added that piece in now so that works out and now you've got the neck joint here this will actually connect the ball joint neck as well. So that's going to help when we get the other pieces. Next, we add the second breast plate or breast joint. Boom. Next, you add this part there. <coughs> that's going to connect the neck and head. also do that as well just to add some uh, decoration in there then boom that that now we actually work on the head so we had another axle in there there's an axle right there too just double issue and you see that's how it works now we work on the head use one of these hand pieces that's floating in midair for no reason that is the eye, that is another um, joint piece right there, I guess, is what... I never don't really know what those are called. But next, you add another axle. Then you put that piece of the hair there. You put some more axles in. Add that strange hair piece there. Add an uh, axle for it to work. The next you get another axle, put axles there, and then you connect all the pieces there, whereas you connected the hair pieces and those axles to be right there, and you connected the jaw point there, then you connect what was ever on this arm to the pieces here, you connect the breast plates onto the breast joints. and whatever there connect those belt pieces there and those belt pieces here as well connect the legs together this arm and bam you now have you now have have our friend Veona or Viona 
So yeah, she's a for a gender bent uh, thing I did. And so I'm actually really liking this build for a lot of reasons. Uh, one, she looks a lot more stable in my opinion than most of the other times I've designed. Two, she is a mini titan, I think, from really just size and not really parts. Uh, I really do like the head design I made, too. I really like how I could still implement Varon's single cycloptic bionic eye. Well, not bionic, it's more just like a monstrous eye. But still add this pretty looking hair. And then I'm really liking the torso as not just because it's, well, you know why. But still, um, the fact that I was able to create this when I got the idea for a male torso was, basically I'll tell you the story. So one time I came home from school and I had this idea for a male torso. So as I worked it though, I started getting more ideas on how I could turn this into a female torso and so that's what I did. And now you have this. So I'm really liking it because it doesn't look too fat, it doesn't look too thin. It's basically perfect for a female version of Veron. And now you got the claw as well. Personally, this is a better version of Veron's claw. I really do like these heels too, which is probably some of my favorite joint parts. I guess. I don't know. I it's hard to remember what I'm saying. Still feel kinda sick, yeah. But alright. So that's Veona. So I guess I'm not gonna do those other LED how to's yet because I will be refining them as well. But I wanna thank you I guess I'm gonna end the video here. I wanna thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you for your subscriptions, thank you for everything. Uh, it means a lot to me. So thank you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please set that like button on fire. And if you ever do make this so, please give me some credit, but also give credit to Cal and LLF for the claw. Um, since it was his design originally, until I modded it a little. Um, sorry for sounding nasty. Uh, if you like this video, please set that like button on fire. And... If you like this channel, please set the subscription button on fire. And I could probably, if I get more subscriptions and stuff and more likes, I might make more of these how-tos and stuff. And officially, I'm trying to find an area to clear out. That way, I can start doing some stop motions as well with uh, my real mocks. So thank you again, guys, for watching this video. And I will see you later, future Fire Legion. Pow!